I've never been much of an early riser, so I don't get up at dawn to ride my bike because I have to. I do it because I want to, because there's no better hour of the day to be on a bike. Getting kitted up at that hour when I'm still half asleep has to be easy, so I don't want to have to think too hard about what I'm going to wear. A good bib short is the cornerstone of any bike apparel maker's lineup. It's where years of R&D and field testing converge to pay the most dividend for you and me, and quite honestly, the 2015 FRC bib shorts eclipse just about everything Jordana's ever made. The 2015 bib is a result of two things. 10 years of constant tweaks and upgrades to the ever-evolving Forma line, and a change in manufacturing that led to a quantum leap over last year's model. If you look closely, you'll see the DNA of the Forma line everywhere. The new HC50 fabric outpaces the older HC44 by providing added compression via more threads per centimeter, and HC50's ultra-compact knit translates into lighter weight, yet offers the performance-enhancing benefits of higher compression rates, usually found only in heavier and probably hotter fabrics. There's also an upgraded 2.0 version of the snag-resistant Zafiro fabric on the seat and inner thighs. Instead of using a treatment on top of the fabric to make it more durable, that durability is woven into the textile at the factory, giving the fabric a much stronger weave. Another thing the new FRC bibs inherited is what's really the namesake of the line, the carbon-infused Amatista fabric that wraps your waist and midsection in a barrier that protects you from fatigue-inducing electromagnetic interference. As you move to the uppers, Jordana has introduced a new fabric called 190 Mesh that has a soft look and feel. I dig that it has zero lateral stretch and only a finite level of vertical stretch, so it keeps the flexible, laser-cut, low-pro zero straps nicely together, and it prevents sag and gathering better than anything I've worn. This combination of stretch and stability is also great because it provides a much needed solution for taller riders who typically wouldn't wear bibs because the straps are way too tight at the shoulders. Giordani uses another version of the 190 fabric called 190E at the leg cuffs that adds elasticity and a good bit of silicone to the inner surface. And because the 190E feels more like cloth and less like spandex, it maintains a better grip on your thigh and will fit a broader range of leg sizes. If you don't want bib shorts that go down to your knee, there's a version with the shorter inseam available too. My first ride in this kit was also my first century in about five years. After already logging about 100 miles in two days, my seat and my legs were a bit sore, to say the least. I can't tell you how nice it felt to put on the FRC bibs that morning. The added level of muscular support from the HC50 Lycra on my upper legs was nice, and the Ciro OF chamois felt like a cloud. I saddled up with ease and pedaled hard all day without any friction issues. And in a late breaking update, I also spent the better part of 14 hours in the bibs while filming the B-roll for this video without one ounce of discomfort. My benchmark test of a great cycling kit is basically this. When you wear it, you forget you're wearing it. It simply disappears. No matter how many miles you rode the days before, what the temperatures are the day of, or how much you sweat during. The 2015 FRC line definitely passes my Vanishing Act test, and at the end of a long day in the saddle, that's what's really important to me.